As you know, I've been experimenting for a few weeks with the multi-cooker. Is it worth the counter space? It can slow cook, it can pressure cook, it can stew, it can hard boil eggs. I uh, did the pressure cooking to make a chicken broth, slow cooking to make a chicken soup. I did hard boiled eggs. I pressure cooked a beef pot roast, a chuck roast, and it got real tender in an hour and a half. I, I liked a lot of things about the multi-cooker, but I already have a crock pot for slow cooking. I already have a pressure cooker for pressure cooking. So I made a decision that right now, my mother-in-law is bugging me to get this back to her. So I'm going to get back her multi-cooker to her. And I may get one in the future. I would really like one of the new ones that says it also browns. But those are pretty expensive right now. So what I'm probably going to do is stick with my current crock pot and pressure cooker and stove top to cook things. Once the price comes down on the new ones that have the browning feature as well, so it's more like a, a browning oven, so it'll make things crisp, then I'll probably go with that one. That would be worth the counter space. But thanks to my mother-in-law for loaning me this one. Thanks, everybody, for all the tips for John Eats Cheap.